The following video will provide a brief overview of the flex event maneuvers and outcomes. The flex event uses an active measurement technique. Using this technique, test signals are introduced to the subject's airways, and through changes in pressure, volume, and flow, the mechanical properties of the respiratory system can be measured. In the deep inflation measurement, the lungs are recruited to total lung capacity, followed by a brief hold for lung pressure equilibration. The inspiratory capacity is calculated as the total volume change due to the measurement. In the snapshot measurement, the lungs are given a single frequency signal matched to the subject's respiratory rate. Using the signal, the flex event calculates the resistance, elastance, and compliance of the respiratory system. In the quick prime measurement, the lungs are given a multiple frequency signal above and below a subject's respiratory rate. The flex event can then separate the contributions from the central airways and peripheral lung tissue to give central airway resistance as well as tissue damping and tissue elastance. In the pressure volume measurement, the lungs are inflated to total lung capacity and then deflated in a stepwise manner. The flex event measures the quasi-static compliance of the lung across the entire inspiratory capacity. In the forced expired volume measurement, the lungs are recruited to total lung capacity and then a forced expiration is elicited with exposure to a negative pressure. This allows the flex event to calculate spirometry-like measures such as forced expired volume, forced expired flow, and forced vital capacity. In the lung volumes measurement, the lungs are completely degassed after ventilating with pure oxygen and then reinflated back to total lung capacity. The flex event then calculates the total lung capacity, residual volume, and functional residual capacity. To learn more about the flex event measurements or to contact CIREC, please visit one of the addresses on your screen.